Here we are at Walla Walla, Washington at the Whitman National Historic Site. This is a story about a missionary coming along the Oregon Trail to convert the Cayuse tribe here in Oregon. Yes, the Whitmans came here on started this odyssey in 1836 traveling what became later became the Oregon Trail Marcus Whitman born 1802 and his wife Narcissa Whitman born 1808 were born in New York and played an important role in opening the Oregon Trail but they left a tragic legacy that would continue to haunt relations between whites and Indians for decades after their death. In 1836, the Whitmans headed west as missionaries, traveling with fur traders and taking wagons further west than ever before. Mrs. Whitman was the first woman to traverse the Oregon Trail. Yes, and it all ended in tragedy. When they arrived in the Walla Walla Valley, they set up a mission. Whitman held church services, practiced medicine, and built several buildings. the Cayuse, whose souls the Whitmans felt destined to save, the mission became a threatening sight. Cultural and religious barriers caused stress. When Whitman bought 1,000 pioneers on the Great Migration, this further alienated the Indians. the site of the mission. Over there was the first house and the grist mill. There was an immigrant house, a blacksmith shop, and then the mission house was right here where the concrete foundation is poured. It's all gone now. The pioneers brought disease with them. In 1847 there was a measles outbreak. Many more Cayuse children died and very few white children died. The Cayuse took revenge for what they thought was treachery by killing the Whitmans and 13 other whites and burned down the mission. In the end, those Cayuse involved in the massacre surrendered and were hung. And thank you for joining us.